guys, my name is Layla. And my name is Adam. And today, we're here with some special guests. Do you guys know the Rubik's Cube? We don't know how to solve it, but they do. Today, we have five very special guests. They can do the incredible job that we can't. Please welcome Christopher, Mark, Brandon, Zoe, and Eric. Layla, what's this? It's a Rubik's Cube, silly! But wait, what's a Rubik's Cube? Well, the Rubik's Cube was is a 3D combination puzzle invented in 1974 by a Hungarian professor, Erno Rubik. It was originally called the Magic Cube. Can you guess why? Very few people can solve it anyway. It was so famous that everyone in the world heard about it. And it was the top selling toy. There are competitions worldwide and world records. Wait, are one of the competitions holding it on your head? I don't think so. Give me that. And did you know that one person can even solve the Rubik's Cube in less than five seconds? But no human could ever beat the speed of, drum roll please, robots. Wait, robots? Yep, believe it or not, their record is way out of reach for humans. Christopher. Hi, I'm Christopher. Hi. Um, I'm 11 years old, I've been cubing for about two years and I'm from Hoboken, New Jersey. Nice, you want to solve the Rubik's, Rubik's Cube for us? Okay. That's fast. Forty-six seconds. Whoa, I could not do that. Yeah. So wow. one question is, what's your record solving the Rubik's Cube? My, my single record is about like 27 seconds, but my average is around like 40 or 35. Wow. Do you think I could solve this? Um, no. Don't. And I have some other cubes here with me. This is a five by five of Pyraminx. This is a mirror cube, um, Whoa. A, a, a two by two. This is like an, a three by three, but you can like see through it. It's made of. How old were you when you started? I started when I was around nine, and then I was cubing for like a year, and then I think I stopped for around like half a year or maybe a quarter of a year, but and then I just came back. Whoa! So Christopher, you did what? You met Admiral Rubik? Where? I met Rubik at the Liberty Science Center in New Jersey City or Hoboken, New Jersey. Um, it's really close to New York City when the three by three Rubik's Cube was 50 years old at the 50 year anniversary in the Liberty Science Center. It was really cool. Wow. Thank you so much. Next up is Mark. Hello, I'm Mark. Hi. I started cubing um, a year ago. I can solve the Rubik's Cube in about 40 seconds. Whoa. Would you like to solve Could it I for solve us? It? Yeah. Yeah. How much time do you spend I... practicing on this? It must take a long time. Yeah, um, I... I don't... I spend a half an hour each day and... That's basically how much I practice. I try to learn new algorithms each day. Thank you so much, yeah. Mark. Next up is Eric. Hello, I'm Eric. Hi. I'm 12 years old. I started cubing in January. And what is your record for solving the Rubik's Cube? Well, like 50 seconds. Whoa. That's fast.
Thank you so much, Eric. And now it's time for Brandon. Hey guys. Hi. Whoa. Point eight three six. That was actually Whoa. Bad for me. That was bad for me. Whoa. Whoa. What's your record time? It's called a personal record or PB, um, and mine is about five something. Whoa. Whoa. Have seven, you eight. been in, in any competition? Like, I think it's several at this point. I can't even count them at this point. And now Zoe. These are my Rubik's Cubes. This one is the Pyraminx. And this is the Mirror Cube. Whoa! It goes different shapes when you mix it. That's and so cool. And each cube, cube is a different size. This one is the Scube. It stays in the square shape, but it twists diagonally. Can I mix it? Thanks. Can you solve it now? This one is the Mega Mix. This one uh, turns like this and it has multiple sides. Then this is like the three by three cube, oh. but it's a five by five. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. I like the colors of it too. And then same thing with this one. This one's a four by four cube. These ones I haven't finished solving today. Do you guys have any tips, like for beginners? Do you think we could ever solve it? Well, I mean, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube and that's the way that most people learn. Um, once you get like two or three of them down, um, right off the, I think I will post on YouTube. Am I right about that? Uh, I'd oh, say I tutorials on YouTube as well. Like, they're kind of a good way to learn them. Like, learn. Thank goodness for technology. Yeah, same for me, YouTube. Yeah, I watched a lot of Rubik's Cube videos on YouTube. First I learned a three by three, then a two by two, and then this pyramid, and now the mirror cube. It's like a three by three, but it's just shapes are, are different instead of colors. Thank you guys so much. This was a treat, and thank you for teaching us all you guys know, and for being in our video, and goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. There you have it. We solved the Rubik's Cube. Not us, these five amazing kids. And you can practice and you'll be great too. Practice, practice. Bye. Bye, guys. See you on the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe.